We're here checking up on the hives we started from the packages in the uh, in the YouTube videos Bees for Beginners parts one through four. You come to do your uh, hive inspections. Good idea to give a little puff with your smoker there at the front. Pulling off our top cover. These girls are doing pretty good so far, it would appear. Just push. What you can do is just push this couple at the end. Might want to give them a little bit of smoke, or have Tyrone give them a little smoke while you're working it. There you go. They'll, they'll buzz around a little bit, but it won't be too bad. Okay. I usually just move them over a little bit. Okay. Okay, good. All right, did I show you all already how to handle the frames? Okay, hold on, hold on one second. That's okay. Here's what we have so far. This is, uh, this is one of the frames. You'll notice up here they're already storing honey. All right, these white sections right here that's capped. That honey is what they're using. They'll use it both for, for, fuel, you know, for uh, food stores for the winter and such. And what you, you'll typically see on a frame is you'll see some honey stored in the corners, okay? What they're doing is they're doing that for insulation, all right? It's their food supply, but it's also insulation. The other thing, and I'll try to zoom in here to where folks can see it on the video, is you see those little tiny specks in all the cells. That is the eggs, okay? They're, uh, they're not to the stage yet where they cap them. We'll pull some other frames here in a minute to show you that. But you see, they're, they're, they're not really freaking out or anything. These, these, these gals are pretty easy to work with. All right, <clears throat> a lot of workers. Oh, I There's think that's queen. our queen. Yeah. I just happened to notice that. This big, long gal right uh -huh. here, okay, she's our queen. See how she's got the longer body, longer uh -huh. abdomen than the, the others. And there's usually a little trail, a little entourage, a bunch of groupies, you might say, following the queen around, and they're, they're her attendants, and they're taking care of her and such. Let's put this frame back in. We don't want to have the queen out too entirely long there. Okay. Real gentle when you're... You always... The rule is you always... Uh, you always treat each frame like the queen is on it, even if you know she isn't. <clears throat> All right, so here we are, approximately a month from the initial. Go ahead and pull another frame out from the initial uh, setting of this hive, and uh, this 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 colony is off to a pretty good start. Oops. Working with some new beekeepers here, so it's, it takes a little bit of time when you're getting used to these. Okay. Now, this is a good explanation of brood a little further along. You see they look like little curled up snails in there. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, uh, that's about to the stage where they're going to cap them. And you can see some of them here have already been capped. Okay. Also some honey up in this corner and such, just like in the other one. And look at how efficient these gals are. They have not even drawn out all of the wax for the whole frame, but they already have brood, they already have honey, and you noticed in the other one, the uh, they weren't completely drawn out on the cells, but they were already working in them. These are very, very industrious little, little gals. Okay, here's yet another frame from that colony we showed getting started in the other videos. You see here the yellow is capped brood, all right? This queen is doing her job. Now what you look for too, is you look for the brood pattern, okay? And what you would see if she wasn't laying good is you'd see a lot of holes, all right? You see a few holes here and there, but overall her pattern of laying is, is, is pretty good. Um, again, here on the bottom, they haven't even drawn out some of these areas here, okay? But being the industrious little creatures that they are, uh, they're, they're already working in the other areas and such as well. Over at the top, again, we're seeing the honey, and such uh, stored for the insulation as well as the food value but this this uh, frame here is more particularly just uh, with brood okay continuing with the inspection of the uh, hives we started previously working with your 
working with your hive tool and such here too, the, these bees will glue together everything with the with the propolis and the resin and such. Excuse me. So again, this hive is doing pretty well. Okay, big section of pollen here stored. This is pollen, the kind of dry, chalky looking material. A uh, good bit of honey and such stored here as well. Very little brood on this frame. Some frames, for whatever reason, <laughs> be right on the viewing camera. Watch out, little girl. Will uh, uh, will will contain just nothing but brood, or the better part of brood, and others will, uh, you know, will contain nothing but honey or the the bulk of honey. Uh, they they're just you know they have their own little ways about them like that. Oh, here's something neat. Here's something neat. Uh, Tyrone, if you can see this. And you can flip this. There is brood emerging right there. Oh, uh-huh. See that? Man, let me get this. Where's that at? Yep, I see it. That is brood emerging right there. And they actually emerge on their own. Nobody helps them get out. Where is that at? Let's see. There we go. That right there, at the tip of the hive tool, that is a new bee emerging. And they literally get their own way out of the, out of the wax, they get through the capping themselves, and they start their own life. They'll have a kind of a shiny <coughs> coloring the first couple of days. Other than that, they're, they're ready to work, they're normal everyday worker bees.